This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Who let the cicada in the classroom? Early afternoon on a clear, ferociously hot summer day. Even in our air-conditioned classroom, the temperature is pushing 90 degrees. Oh, that's not good. Amine slumps forward over her desk, panting, her tongue lolling out of her mouth. She resembles nothing more, <laughs> nothing so much as a broken old dog tied up in the sun. <sighs> Summer's great. <laughs> I have a personal rule. I never complain about the heat. Because I would always take hot weather over cold weather. Always. Except at Christmas, I suppose. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> Yuji's just sitting in the corner like, what? It's not that hot. Amine grew up big because she has a healthy appetite, plain and simple. Just this morning, I saw her pop mocking his leftovers into her mouth. Don't think she even knew she was doing it. Well, Amine, as my mom said, if, if you don't eat, uh, if there's leftover food that no one wants to eat, it's either going to go to waste or it's going to go to your waste. Thus, she, my mom didn't really have a problem throwing out scraps. Why would you ask that? Okay. Amine is not fat, like, at all. She's just, like, well endowed. Why are they all saying, like, oh man, Amine, you're kind of fat? It's like she's definitely not. Uh-oh. <laughs> Business at the restaurant didn't do so well for a while. Probably because all the restaurants are locked down. Oh, wait, I mean, this was before the pandemic. Hmm. Whoa! Uh, what? <laughs> you almost starved to death? Jeez, were times that tough? <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, what? That's gonna play a role in her backstory for sure. Well, that's how your body works. It's like, <laughs> you know, you know. There's again, there's a blessed, there's a good side and a bad side to being like that. Well, yes, it, you, if you eat too much, you'll get fat, which is that's a bad thing. But at the same time, it also means that, well, it's, <laughs> I guess, on the the opposite end of that, I'm like super scrawny and like can't gain weight even if I want to. And then that's like, I'm, that's my grandpa's genes. And like, he's like, well, yeah, that's the, like, I can eat whatever I want. I don't gain weight. But in a famine, I'm the first to go. And yep, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, games is starting to throw me actual crumbs of story now. <laughs> Tell me more about how fat you are, Amine. <laughs> But Stouffer's lasagna is so good. Ugh. Ow, that was that was very nasally. How 
How dare you? Oh my gosh, she has the most annoying voice <laughs> when she's complaining. <laughs> it might be worse than Makina's. <laughs> the heat only gets to you because you lack willpower. Now go take a nice long run outside and I bet you'll feel a lot cooler. <laughs> if you just think that you're cold, you will be. I'm not ruling that out! I'm not ruling out the cyborg. I've spent plenty of times in hotter climates. A heat wave like this doesn't bother me at this point. It's all about getting yourself accustomed to it. If you run outside in the summer and get your body temperature up, I'll, after a while you won't be breaking a sweat in heat like this. Of course, I'm speaking from experience. That's... <laughs> That's the worst kind. Do it, Nakita. What? Did I say something weird? I turn around in search of support, but no one makes eye contact. That was a nice effect. You've let me down, everyone. Is this the bystander effect at work? Yeah! Let's go to the beach! <laughs> you, you do know what a beach is, right, Makina? I mean, I don't really like swimming in the sea. Wading in it is fine, but I don't want to, like, full-on swim in it. <laughs> I hated that. I <laughs> Yumiko doesn't like sand, much like another famous person from the movies. We should do it again. There seems to be something of a divergence of opinion on that. Cool. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Be making cryptic statements like that makes it worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> borrow, Amine. We can borrow the car. I don't mind, but doesn't that car only seat five? Sakaki, Michiru, Amine, Makina, Sachi, and me. There's six students alone. And presumably the principal would be coming alone as well. There's no way we'd all fit. Can anyone drive? What, a rental car or something? Is that really something they're going to loan out to us? With permission? Okay, but who's going to drive it? Oh, that, that's a relief. I mean, Amine is older than us, so... You do? Amine cheerfully thumps her chest in confidence. Our two younger classmates rejoice energetically, but Sakaki and Michiru are strangely silent. The looks on their faces concern me slightly. <laughs> Did you meet, like, some creepy guy at the beach? Beach barbecue! Beach barbecue! Yes, we can ask General Spare Ribs to come and make an all-you-can-eat barbecue buffet for us. It was a pretty spur-of-the-moment plan, born out of nothing more than Amine's desire to escape the heat. But since we have some people looking forward to it now, I guess we might as well make it happen. Like, now? But for us to take a group trip to a suitable beach is probably going to require something in the way of official permission. Specifically, the principal of our school, Tachibana Chizuru, will have to put be on the board. I'm, sur I'm sure she'll have some resistance to the idea of a group of her uh, potentially unstable students running around outside, but I've got the feeling she'll agree if we take her alone as a chaperone. My guess would be that she won't object too strongly. It's not like she has anything better to do with her time. Wow. Wait, is this happening? Are we just like, Principal, we don't want to go to school today. We want to go to the beach. 
<laughs> Please let this be re n a normal field trip. <laughs> I know that enough about the job at this point to conclude with confidence that a principal's work is pretty damn boring. But of course, that's an evaluation from my personal perspective. It's always possible that Shizuru relies push or relishes pushing paper around. For all I know, this job could be her very reason for living. If that's the case, I really shouldn't barge in and interrupt her too often. But since I have business with her, today I've got no choice. However, there's no cause for concern. I may not be the world's most skilled communicator, but even I know that a friendly, polite greeting goes a long way towards soothing this kind of <laughs> minor faux pas. <laughs> hey! Sorry to interrupt when you're having so much fun! <laughs> no need to say any more, Chizuru. I'm well aware that you're very much enjoying yourself in the privacy of this office. Although I can't say I understand the appeal, personally. Whatever could you be talking about? Well, never mind about that. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. I need a favor. What? No. What are you getting all worked up about? Calm yourself, Chizuru. You'll hit menopause early if you're this stressed out all the time, you know? Wow, that is a wildly inappropriate thing to say. Oh. You're already... Wow! Yeah, we're not going to the beach now. I see. My bad. Well, I know it's none of my business, but you're a beautiful woman, Chizuru. No need to resign yourself to a future as an old maid just yet. <laughs> Watch this, it's like, so, Yuji, are we going on the trip? No, Principal said we can't. Why? Well, I kind of told her she was going to start menopause soon. How? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to butter you up so you'll let us go to the beach. I'm complimenting you, of course. If I had been born five years earlier, I'm sure I would have proposed by now. Okay, then, I guess that's enough kidding around. I wasn't joking when I said that you're a beautiful woman. Anyway, hear me out for a minute. <laughs> Yuji, Yuji, lax tact. What's the matter? Your face is slightly flushed. Diarrhea? She's not gonna say yes now. Hmm. Actually, I'm hoping to take everyone on a group outing to the beach sometime soon. For one thing, it seems Machina's never played in the ocean. And let's face it, at the moment you've got a bunch of pale weaklings for students. They tend to avoid healthy outdoor recreation like the plague. Don't you think we should try to do something about that? This might be a good start. <sighs> Dang, okay, that's them smooth talking. So I thought I'd drag a lot of them out into the sun for a while. Dress it up as a picnic on the beach or whatever. But after thinking it over, I'm a little worried about having them run wild out there. Naturally, there's a limit to how close an eye I can keep on on the mice by myself, so I was hoping you'd come along too, Chizuru. <laughs> Chizuru, will you go to the beach with me? <laughs> yes, I could really use a reliable woman like you alone on this one. I know you're busy, Chizuru. When you get down to it, I'm trying to take advantage of your kindness here. I know it's selfish of me, but even so. Even so, I'd like you to come to the beach with me. But I'll understand if you say no. <laughs> Dane, Principal doesn't even want chaperones. No, we need chaperones. Otherwise, something real nasty is going to happen, I bet. Are you listening to what I'm saying to you? I want to go to the beach with you. That's reason enough for me. Don't overthink this. There's People are going to be smuggling alcohol... Or it's gonna be... <laughs> Amini's gonna be sexually assaulting us again. That's right. <laughs> Today, two hours. <laughs> Appreciate it, Chizuru. How did we go from making, like, inappropriate comments about her to her just readily agreeing to this? Are you angry about being manipulated? I'll let you know about the details later. Would you mind driving one of the cars? 
<laughs> I mean, I would hire Gus or BD Joe to take us there, but I don't trust them. Also, they charge like $300 for that. Hmm? Damn, you caught on. <laughs> Is that the polite thing to do? I don't think so. I'll make a note. Always be honest with women. Those were my master's words. No matter how painful the truth you're communicating is, you have to start from a position of honest discussion, or you'll never be able to truly resolve your differences. A very bold and straightforward opinion indeed, typical of my master's way of thinking, but I don't understand why it applies to women in particular. On the other hand, a certain busybody German woman told me quite the opposite. Lie to women, it's the kinder choice. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to err on the side of honesty. Women aren't really eager to learn the ugly truth. Even if they know you're lying, they'll choose to accept the deception so long as they have a reason to do so. I guess Chizuru's opinion would be closer to JB's. Frankly, it's a real pain in the ass to try to anticipate when a woman would prefer a white lie and when they want the truth. But I guess that sort of consideration is an inevitable part of forming the functional relationships. Guys, you don't have to make that decision if you just remain honest. And that sort of uh, troublesome woman is supposed to be cute precisely because she's kind of a pain in the ass. I can't say I feel that way right now, but that's probably just proof that I'm still a kid. In any case, it seems that I've managed to secure our transportation, which she still agreed to that. The next order of business would probably be to decide what we're going to do once we get there. But there's probably no need for me to worry too much about that. Bring a volleyball! In the first place, the only beach activities that I can think of involve someone screaming, Keep your hands, heads down, goddammit! You're trying to get yourselves killed, maggots! As I crawl across the sand. Come to think of it, why am I so eager to go to the beach? Just going to bring back a lot of memories tinged with the scent of gunpowder. This is no good. I like to lecture people about acting on the assumption of the worst case scenario, but when I'm by myself like this, that rational habit all too often transforms into unproductive pessimism. If I'm going to live normally, I need to acquire the habit of thinking less. The most I should be anguishing over before a trip to the beach is the color of the Hawaiian shirt I'm going to wear. Yeah, man. If I think too much of everything in my life right now starts to feel like a comp complete farce and I end up sinking into self loathing. I asked for this. I sought out normality. It'd be idiotic to run from it now. I want peace. So I refuse to face the ugliness in myself. I want change, so I reject the happiness of a carefree existence. I am a mess of contradictory impulses, but I guess that's just another way to say human being. Okay. Are we going on the beach today? What's up? I'm sitting in my chair, immersed in a book, when a certain bottle blonde cautiously strikes up a conversation. Makina's standing at her side, a somewhat awkward expression on her face. Dropping the autobiography of the ex-idol Chigasi Megumi in face in my down to my desk face down to my desk, I turn my attention to the two of them. What's up? If you're looking to confess your love, wouldn't a meeting behind the gym make for a better atmosphere? Either way, two at once is a new one. It seems I'm something of a lady killer, bro. Why would that be your first idea of what they'd want? Okay. If you have something to say to me, feel free. I'll listen, if nothing else. Well, you said that when Sachi was talking about making you a shark pouch, and you weren't. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> That's because he's a robot. Wow. What are we about to get into? Since entering this school, I've been consciously trying to act like an average student. But apparently my efforts haven't been that successful. I might be wearing sheep's clothing, but I guess the scent of a wolf can't be disguised so easily. What's this nice plan of yours? I hope it doesn't involve dressing me up in a skirt and dragging me into the bathroom for girl talk. Yeah, that would be weird and bad and terrible in every way. I can probably still squeeze into a size 8, but I've had enough of that for one lifetime. Um, what? Were you a cross-dresser in your past? I don't actually want to know. That's a weird nickname. Oh, boy. I hope they let me physically type out a nickname. 
A nickname, you say? Nickname. So they were to the no curry or chismer eye no sasayaki. Nickname. So they were to the Kosareta Kotoba Nikoreta. Tani o moyaru kimochi. Nickname. Uncle Kunimita Konoseta. I go no kibo. Exciting no kosho. Nickname. I usually do stream this for two hours unless I'm ha unless I'm very in much enjoying it. I won't be going for that much longer. Probably another 15 minutes. Like, whenever this skit is done, I'll stop. That's my plan. A nickname! I like, I like the way she says nickname. An epitaph? You planning on writing my obituary? Hear me roar. A name is nothing more than an arbitrary label to distinguish one individual from another. I suppose you're free to attach affection to it if you want, but personally I don't see any particular need to do so. I am a robot. Beep boop, beep boop. I see. What sort of a nickname were you thinking of? そして見た目、性格、そのすべてを表す素敵なニックネームを do you seriously plan to use that name every single time you talk to me? No. <laughs> and we all know how often that happens. Yeah, that's way too many syllables. Mr. Standoffish Man. That's six syllables! My name, Yuji, is two. You just tripled how difficult my name is to say. If I'm going to be passing you ham on a regular basis, I can't be as standoffish as all that. <laughs> you can ask me anything you want! Could you pass the gravy? <laughs> anyway... If you're going to start giving people nicknames for being antisocial, shouldn't you start with Sakaki? She's not the most approachable person either, wouldn't you say? You're scared of her. Don't take credit for that, Michiru. Most of them seem to be shamelessly stolen from Akana. But that was kind of mean, Michiru. Hey, you. Is there any reason it has to be fun? I can't see what- <laughs> Did you say fun? This is a party! Who said anything about fun? Please, no. Again, that's harder to say. Well, because smoking is bad for you. <laughs> yeah. Michiru is the one who drinks juice. I only drink oolong tea and water. I agree with that. Wow. That's kind of mean. Why don't you tell me what you really think, punk? Don't worry, I'm thick skinned. Yeah, 
<laughs> What's this about raisins? <laughs> What's this about Yuji being a raisin? <laughs> Michiru hurriedly closes her hands around Makina's mouth before any problematic words can emerge. The girl may be an idiot, but the speed with which she reacts to situations like these are admirable. I'll be honest, Michiru has saved multiple people's lives this in this uh, game. She's a hero. That really? Not everyone needs a nickname. <laughs> it's, it's like it's hard to make a nickname for Artie. That's because Artie's already short and catchy and snappy. Alright, enough with the cat smile, Michiru. Yeah, it's cute, but you're not charming me with that. After a lengthy period of deliberation, Sakaki reaches her answer. <laughs> Why is everyone thinking I drink juicy juice all the time? <laughs> Let me tell you about this juicy gossip I heard today. That's just my name twice. That's not a nickname. <laughs> ah, come on, Michiru, stand up for yourself. <laughs> Which do I want? <laughs> you want me to decide? Which? Don't tell me you expect me to choose one of those. I have to choose one of those two? Yes. I seem to remember you saying no effort whatsoever was required. Wait, what? It's another choice! It's the second dialogue choice, and I guess it... Actually, now here's the question. This legit might contribute to the branching paths. If I pick, like, Mr. Standoffish Man, that would probably make Michiru like us. Juicy Yuji would probably make Makina like us, and then Yuji Yuji would probably make Sakaki like us. Potentially. Will this actually change the dialogue? Like, whichever one I choose, will that be what she calls us for the rest of the game? I wonder. Well, at the very least... Save my game, Sachi. Um, none of these are good. Can't I have to choose one of these? <laughs> I don't want to choose one of these. I just want to be called Yuji. <laughs> Hi, Oren. Uh, uh, out of these three, Juicy Yuji is probably the, the snappiest. All right, out of those, I'd say Juicy Yuji. That was also the one that most people came up with and were like, that's pretty good. <laughs> she actually did it too! <laughs> it changes her name! <laughs> it changes her name to Juicy Yuji! <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. To be honest, I think I'd rather be addressed as a number. <laughs> it actually changes her name. <laughs> Jealous, are you? In that case, allow me to give you a nickname as well. Oh, no. 
Oh no, what kind of nickname will Yuji come up with? <laughs> the more nicknames, the merrier, in my opinion. Back me up here, Makana. I'm gonna give Juicy Yuji a different voice. Alright. First off, let's see if we can come up with anything based on for your appearance. <laughs> I'm not a purr, I'm just looking at you. I've decided from this day forward you are dirty blonde. <laughs> it's not a slander, it's an objective description of your appearance. Listen up, Dirty Blonde. When you confer a nickname on someone, it's only natural to expect the same treatment in return. I suggest you remember that. That said, I'm a man of mercy. If you dislike the name that much, I suppose I can give you another. Alright then, I'll transform the name Michiru. Michir. <laughs> you will be the Mitchell for our baseball team. <laughs> oh, I'm disappointed it didn't change her name to Mitchell. Okay, Makina, make sure everyone knows to call Michiru Mitchell from now on. <laughs> well played, Pierce. This isn't over. <laughs> oh, I've got nothing on you, Mitcher. <laughs> I changed my name and I changed my voice, Sachi. <laughs> it did change your name! <laughs> it did! Oh man, this is great. It's times like this where I really love this game. <laughs> Sachi, my friend, now that you know the truth of the matter, I'm sure you're longing for your own nickname. Fear not, for I would provide you with one. You are now Satcher. <laughs> <laughs> and it changes her name too! Oh, this is the stupidest fate ever, but also funny. Atcha! <laughs> I wonder if we would get this if we chose one of the other nicknames. Matcha. Matcha? <laughs> What's the matter? Am I Yuji now? I just got a wonderful nickname after all. Feel free to use it. <laughs> we didn't give to get get to get give Yumiko a nickname. It would probably be Yatcher. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yutcher. <laughs> These were the stupidest nicknames ever. <laughs> hey, chin up. I thought it was a pretty good idea. By your standards, at least. Wow. That was rude. Hmm. Seems like this mass nicknaming session was sadly insufficient to reduce the incongruity of my presence in this school. From now on, I think I need to make a little more effort to blend in. Oh no. Ah, it's Princher. <laughs> Alright then, I'll be going now.
<laughs> wow, that was, the that was the stupidest thing ever, but also kind of funny. All right, <laughs> we're going to have to wrap up the stream for today. <laughs> well, that was definitely a funny skit. Again, really dumb, but also, hey, it wasn't a bunch of sexual innuendos, so I appreciate that. All right, that was a fun stream. We actually got to make some decisions, which was pretty cool. And apparently we're planning a beach trip. That should be fun. I hope we actually go on the beach trip and it's not just... Maybe that'll be like the thing like at the end, like at the end of every person's route, you go on like a beach trip and then you get the good ending. And then if you get the bad ending, everyone dies. I don't know. <laughs> I could see that happening. Anyhow, I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, I streamed a little longer than usual, but that's usually a result of me saying, hey, this is I'm having a lot of fun streaming this. Thanks for watching, everybody. YouTube VODs for this stream will be up uh, coming this next coming week. And I'll be streaming this again, again, next Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you guys then. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.